Hey guys, Jake Bitch here, and today we're going to be going over the Eruptor. The Eruptor is an explosive, bolt-action sniper rifle. It deals a whopping 380 damage, but it only has 5 bullets per clip, with a maximum of 12 magazines. You start off with 6 normally. The Eruptor is a very interesting weapon, and has many strengths and weaknesses, so let's go over them. So the first thing I want to go over is the scope on the eruptor if you hold r on pc you can see that there's 200 meters 100 meters and 50 meters if you're firing at 200 meters just remember it's going to take about a second for your shot to get there if you're firing past 200 meters you might not even be able to throw go that far because the explosive round will blow up before it hits the target 50 meter scope is good if you're hitting targets close up but i recommend the 100 meter scope because if you're fighting enemies at 50 meters, you can just shoot in third person and aim at them and you'll be able to hit them way easier than with the scope. And just a warning, there's a weird bug with the eruptor. When you get hit by the explosive, sometimes it pulls you forward. And I think this is all explosives. Next up, I want to talk about the automatons and how the eruptor works against them. So light bots aren't a problem with the Eruptor, you can hit them basically anywhere and you'll kill them. This is great for taking out waves of light bots coming in on dropships from far away. Up next we have Berserkers. Berserkers take a lot of damage from the Eruptor, you want to go for the head as much as you possibly can. If they end up getting too close and you shoot them, it might pull you forward because of that bug. Explosive damage is pretty intense, so be careful. You want to try to hit striders from the top, this will take them out right away, but if you hit them near the middle, sometimes it won't hurt them. You can also hit them from the bottom, if you explode it underneath them, it'll kill them too. Next up we have rocket devastators. Rocket devastators are hit and miss, but you're going to try to hit the missile launchers or the head as much as you can. The shield version of the devastator is far harder to deal with, because the head is protected by the shield. So you're going to have to go for either the head or the backpack. You can probably also explode it near their feet. Next up we're going to talk about gunships. Gunships can be very difficult to deal with when you're using an interrupter. Even though it takes around 7 shots to hit, using a scope, and depending on how far away it is, it would be difficult for the projectile to hit its target. If it's too far away, your projectile will explode before it hits its target. And also, if it's too far away, Sometimes the projectile takes more than a second for it to reach its target. Meanwhile, the whole time it's shooting rockets at you. You're going to want to take out the factory they come out of right away as soon as you see it. Next up we have the Hulk. Now the Hulk is heavily armor plated on the front. And shooting it doesn't seem to do much damage, even in the head, point blank. So I tested it by shooting it over and over. You might be able to finish one off this way, but I wouldn't try to kill one this way that's at full health, that's for sure. You're much better off shooting a Hulk in the solar weak point if you're going to be shooting it with an Eruptor. The only problem is this can be very difficult if you're being shot at because the scope sways. Also, unless the Hulk is stuck, it's going to turn around on you, and if you're too close to it when you shoot the solar panel, it's going to pull you forward and underneath the Hulk. In order to test this properly, I had to use an EMS mortar and the Eruptor took about two shots to take out the solar panel. Next up we have the tank. Now the tank suffers some of the same problems as the Hulk does because it has heavy plating. So if you're going to be shooting it, you can kill it from the front, but it takes a lot of shots in order to kill it. I ended up having to slow down the cannon and it turned out to be around 18 shots. Don't worry, I have a better way that I'll show you after this clip. So here's another tank with the same amount of health. This time I'm going to go for the weak point only. And as you'll see, it takes only about three hits this time to take out the tank. Next up we're going to do the structures, so the light fabricators, I heard rumors that you could destroy these just by shooting them. 
but it turns out that you actually have to shoot them from the hole and not from the side. No matter how many times you shoot from the side, it won't actually blow up. Instead, if you can get in the right position, it's far easier to shoot it from far away than through the hole in one shot. Here I'm testing the Eruptor versus the Dropships from the Dropship Destroy Dropship missions. And again, it doesn't destroy the Dropships very easily because of the heavy plating. I also ended up testing this against Command Bunkers, but it didn't seem to do much damage to them either. Next up we have Cannon Turrets. This is the hard way to kill a Cannon Turret, which is to shoot it from the front. Took about 12 shots to finish this one off, so I'm going to show you guys this clip right here to prove it. Now we've seen the hard way to take it out, now I'm going to show you the easy way to take it out. If you hit it bang on in the right spot, you'll get it in one shot. Next up we have Terminus, and you can see that the light bugs and the boss viewers get one-shotted by the Eruptor. Broodmothers, however, can be a little different because they charge you. If you shoot them too close, you can easily kill yourself. But when done right, it can easily kill them in one shot without hurting you. Next up we have the Stalker. Now the Stalker takes a lot of damage from the Eruptor and it should kill him in one shot if placed properly. Next up we have Shriekers. Shriekers can be a little bit more hard to target with the Eruptor as they fly around all over the place. Good news however is if you actually do end up hitting one, you might hit more than one. You can take out multiple at once if they're near each other. Next up we have the Charger. Now this Charger suffers the same problems as most bugs. Is when they get close to you and you shoot them, it'll hurt you a lot. So you're going to want them to run past you and then fire at their thorax. If you hit them around three times in the thorax, they should die. I decided to test against the guardian charger, the ones you find at the evacuation sites. I ended up killing it in two shots from the front. I think it bounced off his head and hit his leg and killed him. The shot is hard to pull off though. Next up we have the Bile Titan. Now we can't actually hurt the Titan much because of his armor plating, but he does have two weak points underneath, the two sacks. They should take one or two shots each, depending on where you hit them. Next up we have Bug Eggs. Now Bug Eggs take a lot of damage from these things because it's a wide area of explosive damage. You can take out all the Bug Eggs in a couple clips, maybe even one if you do place your shots properly. The Eruptor is great against bug holes. You can use it while you're running and gunning to take hit bug holes fast. Same goes for stalker nests. You can take them out in one shot while you're running by. Next up we have the Spore Spewer. Now the Spore Spewer will only take one shot to be destroyed and you can shoot it from a little over 200 meters away. Next up we have Shrieker Nests. Now Shrieker Nests hardly take any damage from an Eruptor. You're better off using a stratagem or a support weapon to take these out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more guides like this. I got more coming soon. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you guys soon.